Thank you very much. It's a great honor to have Chancellor Merkel. And I will say that uh, you can uh, rest assured she was going to win that election. And congratulations on winning. And by the way, can a formal congratulations. Thank That's you. a great victory. Uh, we're working on a lot of different subjects, including trade, including NATO, including uh, military of all types. And uh, we have a really great relationship. And we actually have had a great relationship right from the beginning, but some people didn't understand that. But we understand it, and that's what's important. But a uh, very extraordinary woman. And it's an honor to have you at the White House. Thank you very much, Angela. Dankeschön. Dankeschön auch für den Empfang und äh, für die Glückwünsche zur Wiederwahl. Die Regierungsbildung hat etwas gedauert, aber jetzt war es mir ganz wichtig, als ersten Besuch außerhalb Europas hier nach Washington zu kommen und unsere Zusammenarbeit zu vertiefen. Und ich freue mich auf die Gespräche. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this very warm reception and also for the words of congratulation. Um, you know, it, it took some time um, to build the government, uh, that is certainly true, but I thought it was very important um, on this first visit outside of Europe uh, to come to the United States, to come to Washington in order to yet again underline that we wish to deepen our relationship um, further and um, I hope and trust and I'm very much looking forward to the very good talks that I trust we will have today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we were honored. It was a great report. No collusion, which I knew anyway. No coordination, no nothing. It's a witch hunt. That's all it is. There was no collusion uh, with Russia, if you can believe this one. Uh, there was. She probably can't believe it. Who can? Uh, but the report was very powerful, very strong. There was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the uh, Russian people. Uh, as I've said many times before, I've always said there was no collusion, but I've also said there has been nobody tougher on Russia than me. With that all being said, if we can get along with Russia, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. But there has been nobody tougher on Russia than me. I was very honored by the report. It was totally conclusive, strong, powerful. Uh, many things said that nobody knew about and said in a very strong way. Uh, they were very forceful in saying that the Clinton campaign actually did contribute to Russia. So maybe somebody ought to look at that. But what we really should do is get on with our lives and get on with a lot of things. We have a lot of great things happening, including potentially with North Korea, Angela, as you see. Uh, a lot of very positive things happened over the last 24 hours. We're in uh, total touch with both North Korea and South Korea. We'll be setting up a meeting very shortly. We have uh, we have it broken down to probably two sites now, two or three sites, locations. And hopefully we're going to have great success. We'll see what happens, but hopefully we're going to have great success. So uh, President Moon and I are speaking, and uh, we're speaking very much with South Korea and with North Korea. Uh, the relationships are building and building strongly, and uh, this will be a great thing for the world. This will be a great thing for Germany, but this will be a great thing for the world. Angela and I have discussed this over the period of the last 15 months quite a bit, North Korea, the North Korean problem. And uh, I think you're seeing that a lot of very positive things are happening. Do you expect so, any agreement on Iran today, Mr. President? I don't know. I think we'll be talking about Iran probably, but I don't necessarily expect it one way or the other. I know we're going to have a very uh, good discussion on Iran, as I did with uh, Emmanuel, was just left, uh, the president of France. Uh, so we'll be having discussions on Iran. We'll be having discussions on trade. Uh, we'll be having various discussions. What will you do, Mr. President, to ensure that Kim isn't just trying to play the U.S. like the Kings have? Oh, I don't think he's playing. No, I don't think he's playing. And, and, you know, it's never gone like this. It's never gone this far. I don't think it's ever had this enthusiasm for somebody, for them wanting to make a deal. And, yeah, I agree. The United States has been played beautifully like a fiddle uh, because you had a different kind of a leader. We're not going to be played, okay? We're going to hopefully make a deal. If we don't, that's fine. Uh, the United States in the past was played like a fiddle. Money going in and nobody knew what was happening. Uh, the day after an arrangement was made, if you call it a deal, I doubt it, but a, an arrangement was made. Uh, they start with the nuclear weapons again. That's not happening to us. We will, I think, uh, come up with a solution. And if we don't, we leave the room with great respect. We leave the room and we just keep it going. I also... Uh, will tell you that President Xi of China uh, has been very helpful at the border. And I want to acknowledge that. I think it's very important to acknowledge. Uh, but President Xi has been extremely helpful to me 
We have a very good relationship. He's been extremely helpful to me at the border. So uh, we'll see where it all goes. But no, this isn't like past administrations. We don't play games. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.